All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout New Vegas series of Boom to the Moon, where today I, oh boy, am in a bit of a mood because Anaximander is not doing what he's supposed to be doing. For the life of me, I cannot get the next quest to trigger without using console commands, which is, uh, you know annoying as hell basically after the last quest we're supposed to come back like the next day and ask him how he's doing and he'll tell us he's doing good and then start apparently talking about a pamphlet he found about trucks cuz um, dude likes trucks so that's supposed to then lead us into the next mission called truck pickup but yeah it just it won't trigger i cannot for the life of me no matter how many days i you know go and sleep and come back the how are you doing text never becomes an option for him so the only way we can progress is to miss out on that entire dialogue which i would have loved to have heard you know him geeking out about trucks that could have been fun but uh yeah no the only way to move it along is to use the console and i am not happy about that but that's what we're gonna do today because what can i do for you yeah yeah it's been like four days off cam in this save i even did like as many as 12 days i think off cam trying to get this to go but then i reloaded tried it again and yeah nowhere do i get the how are you how you doing option which is very very unfortunate. Gotcha. So yeah, the only way we can get this to go well, we need anything else. is by cheating. So that's what we're gonna do. It's what we're gonna do. Oh, with my luck, that means we're gonna have to do that for the next quest as well. <laughs> Something's gonna go even more wrong, and we'll have to do that. But uh, what are you gonna do? Got to keep going. So let us. There we go. Set stage to 10 for that quest. Seems to get it going. Whoops, I went to the one that I had that was zero. <laughs> uh, I, could, I was trying to figure out what the first stage was, which is apparently 10. So there we go. Get that, and we now should have the truck pickup mission. So yeah, like I said, apparently what's supposed to happen is he starts geeking out about trucks... And then we find out that there are miniature toy trucks, eight of them in the world, that he would like. And we can go and collect and turn into him. And apparently, once we find each truck, we can give it to him and then learn more about him. So it's kind of annoying that we got a, oh god, a very long fetch quest here. But I want to know more about an Axemander, so we're rolling with it. We are rolling with it. So, oh god, so many waypoints. <laughs> oh, oh my. Okay. I also do want to point out something. I didn't know until uh, I was trying to figure out stuff off cam. Apparently there's this um, mod configuration computer back here. Didn't help me. <laughs> Apparently we can actually have like developer commentary on, which is kind of amusing. But yeah, sadly we couldn't seem to do anything in here that would... Uh, move along said quest which i was hoping for but oh well what are you gonna do it's not like the fail safe box that we had for the original boom to the moon quest mission back here that would have been very nice to have something for this but oh well let's go find ourselves some trucks which apparently we have one right here oh sweet nice go grab that and immediately come back to turn it in because i do think just to make sure nothing further breaks, we should turn in each truck after we find it to then get the, uh, whatever info we're supposed to learn about Max from him at that point. I think that'll be good. So yeah, let's head on over here. I'm guessing, it, I'm guessing it's in the dino. Let's actually just look at the quest here. So we got a vault Tech truck, a Sunset Sarsaparilla truck, a Robco truck, a Radiation King truck, <laughs> that's a good one, Nuka-Cola Quantum truck, Mama Dolce truck, Fancy Lads truck, a Braxo, and then yeah, the, the generic find all eight. Got it. Okay. Nifty. Wait, which one's in the dino? I didn't actually notice. <laughs> 
Oh, we're actually going to have to go to Vault 11, huh? For that one, eh? And since it's Esperilla, Repcon, h, h Tools Factory, Good Spring General Store. Uh, Gino Gift Shop is the Mama Dolce one. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Man, I wish we would have heard his whole spiel. Because it also means I don't think we're going to have him as a companion. <laughs> uh, with the you asking him how he's doing, apparently that's supposed to unlock him as a companion how you to take around the world. Uh, oh, I'm doing all right, Cliff. Don't mind me. I'm just going to go steal a truck from in here. Hopefully it isn't steal. It doesn't exist. Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. <laughs> So, not only, <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe I just got to find it in here somewhere. Let's, let's look around. Let's look around. Maybe, maybe it just didn't, it, it's not a, that's it exactly. Maybe it's a, it's in this general area sort of a thing. All right, I'm hidden. Let's look in here. The room with all the rockets. Yeah, I don't think it's in here with all the <laughs> all these all the souvenir uh, souvenirs case of bullets. Yeah, nope, don't see anything. Well, balls. <laughs> all right, we're gonna I have to go check out like one other place at least. Just to see, because if that... Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, might have needed that conversation, perhaps, to spawn them into the world. That might have been what triggers them to pop into the world. But, yeah, there's definitely not a toy truck there. Hold on a moment. Let's see if it's just, like, in the wall or something. Nope. Oh, there's his container for his shop down there. <laughs> I wonder. Can't. Okay. <laughs> well. We'll go try the one at Good Spring. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the rep contest site, but that would take a bit. This one was just uh, in one of the shops there. God damn it. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be so... I'm already in not in a good mood because the quest wouldn't trigger itself. And now the quest is broken because we triggered it manually. <laughs> yup. Yup, cool. You know what? I actually have a theory. We're going to test it real quick. This is the save that we, of course, ended on in the last episode. So I'm going to revert to that because I did try when I was uh, going through the console commands. I reset the quest. And I'm wondering if that might have gotten rid of them. So first and foremost, I'm just going to go inside and try talking to him again. Just in case. I doubt it, but just in case magically that option Bubbles pops and up. Birds. Bubbles and birds. What? Bubbles and Bubbles oh, and hey. what? Bubbles and what now? Of course. What's up? Yep, nope. Can't ask gotcha. him how he's doing. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Gotcha. Oh, boy. All right, well. There we go. Truck pickup. Let's go to the dino. If it's not there this time from resetting the quest... So that's the one thing I can think is maybe doing that reset quest thing might have uh, screwed with something. But I fear that we may now have a broken mod and we may just have to drop this series. Which is unfortunate. But, <laughs> I mean, what else are we going to do? Oh, boy. Alright, alright, alright. Well, let's, let's see. Let's get to the dino and find out. So yeah, no, Hunter, how many how much I waited. Both at my hotel room sleeping and going back to his house or sleeping on his couch, which apparently we can do. I never unlocked the option to ask him how he was doing. 
Nope, still not there. <sighs> All right. Well. <laughs> okay. Now, I was originally going to end this series if we couldn't figure out how to move things along uh, back on Boom to the Moon. But we were able to inevitably get that all going. This one, though, may be a point where I cannot go any further. Because, yeah, if it if it won't unlock or, uh, you know, trigger the how you doing thing after the... Oh, what was the last quest called? Hold on, I've got my on my other monitor than all the quests. Operation Snellen. Yeah, if it wouldn't trigger after that, the how you doing thing, then we're stuck. As if I can't activate the quest manually this direction, then we cannot progress. And if we cannot progress with this, we cannot unlock the next quest, which is an unmarked hidden quest to help him with his chip, which then it won't unlock the back to vault 138 quest, where we learn more about him, which then won't unlock a decent proposal quest, which where apparently we become business partners with him, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, without without him unlocking that text option, we're screwed. So I'm, t I know it's only a little twelve minutes now, roughly. Um, I'm gonna end the episode here. So I was hoping with manually activating it, we'd be good. But apparently no. And uh, yeah, off cam, I'm going to try and see if we can figure it out. Try to see if I can trigger the conversation instead. And hopefully that might work. And if not, I'll try some other console things. And if in the end... Oh, hey, we didn't need to kill that guard last time. We could have gone right to this dumpster. Two cartons of cigarettes that he wanted. <laughs> But if I cannot get that all sorted, um, then Wednesday we'll do something new. We'll do something else. We'll do something different. Because, yeah. <laughs> if we can't get this to trigger correctly, then we're just going to be done with it. But hopefully you have enjoyed whatever this episode was. <laughs> and come back for whatever does potentially happen next. But uh, until that time, thank you for watching it as always. Oh boy, have a good one, guys. <laughs>